What's going on, y'all? We're out here today. Got my buddy Rusty, and uh, we're doing a little bit of creek fishing. We're here entering the, the the end of winter. We've had several warmer days. We actually had a, like a mini cold front come through last night, so it might kind of play with these trout a little bit, pushing them in and out of this creek. But for the most part, we should be getting close to a more of a springtime pattern, entering the the, the beginning of spring. So hope to get on a couple of trout maybe some redfish who knows never know what you're going to catch when you're fishing like this let's get out here see if we can't get some keep seeing bait or something on the back side over there flicking out the water yeah, Ew, dude i got freaking rocked all right First hit of the day and we just got freaking nailed. Fish on, good one. Oh, that feels like it, that's a trout. All right, there we go. First fish is a good one, y'all. Man, that joker is so strong. <laughs> Man, what a trout on a trout thumper. Oh, look at how fat that joker is right there, y'all. Y'all, we've pushed this entire creek coming down through here. Haven't had a bite. We've been at it for about 30, 45 minutes. This is our first fish right here. And bam, it is a good one right there on the trout thumper. All right, dude. We will see you later. About 19 inches or so. Make sure we take our time through here because we might not get too many spots like this one. I mean, you see how much water we covered. But so he's on. I'm fixing to tell you why they were fish here. <laughs> and he nailed it. Another good one. Oh, well, that one's bigger than the first one. Y'all, we finally found us an area where these trout are stacked in it. All right, y'all, that's trout number two. They are stacked up back here in this corner. And here's the deal. So we started off coming through this straightaway, pretty shallow creek right here. Back here in this corner, it really does drop off. Pretty good little hole. Uh, but you see how much current is getting pushed around this bank right here. The bank's cut off on this side, it kind of slopes out, and it's just a textbook choke point right here. You know, an area where I, I definitely expected to find fish. I actually told Rusty that if we didn't find fish in this bend, then we might as well head on back out because there weren't gonna be any fish here. So, good little spot, two fish back to back. Let's get back in here and see if we can get another one. I bet they do. personal preference is 10 hour days because it's like 10 hours where your brain starts to kind of fart out you're tired yeah well, he's on that's another decent fish fish trout it's a trout that's another good one y'all oh yeah oh that's a good fish that's a good fish come on over here boom There's some big trout in here, man. All right, let's slow down and fish this bend pretty good. Look at that beautiful trout right there. Man, that one's probably sitting around 20, 21 inches. Whew. Another one on the trout thumper. Man, we haven't slayed them yet. The deeper we get in this creek, the more they're stacked in here. I got a feeling we're gonna get, we're gonna get on some more fish, but the quality of the trout that we're finding in here. I mean, this is the third trout over 19 inches right here. See you, dude. Bye-bye. Third trout over 19 inches. And uh, I mean, like I said, we're not on a bunch of fish, but the fish we're catching are good ones. And I got a feeling we're gonna find some better fish in here. Hopefully find a 22, 23 inch trout. 
All right, so the lure we're using is a trout thumper. That thing looks chewed up right now. As soon as I put it back in the water, it's gonna lay down and come back to life. But these trout thumpers come with this little paddle tail right here, and it's just screwed on there. Well, fishing these clean water creeks like this, I want that gliding action of a fluke but I want that big flaring profile of this trout thumper. The thing about it is the rabbit fur that comes on this trout thumper, as soon as it hits the water, it just flares up. And as you're moving it, it lays down, you set it back down, it comes back to life, flares back up. And uh, yeah, I'm just taking these flutes, trimming the tail up a little bit on it, and then uh, threading it on there and bam, back to back cast get back in here hopefully we're gonna find us another one so it looks like to me right here the way this creek is laying out this bend you see this bank you see this bank so it's actually doing kind of a reverse effect so it's sloping in and it's cut right here so your deeper end is going to be on the inside and the most likely reason for that is because there's an island right there and a creek in the back so it's pushing mud that current's pushing the mud around here so the channel is gonna to run to the inside of the bend, which is the most likely place for these fish to be. I actually just saw something come up right there. He's on. Is that a trout? Yeah. Oh man, trout number four. We got deep up in this creek too, y'all. Starting to think we wouldn't find any more trout. And bam, all right smallest trout of the day still right there on the edge of being a keeper i bet he would have went 15. ain't no big deal mm. dude i'm getting nailed right there i don't know what it is He's on. Got him that time. A little guy. Speckled trout number five. Man. Threw in there and he missed it. Threw back in there. Got him a second time. Yeah, dude. Oh, that trout thumper right there has put in some work today getting it done i'm gonna link all the information in the description uh you know as far as putting a link down there for y'all to be able to go and uh and check these out because dude they just got nailed again i think we found an area where they're just stacked in there but if y'all if y'all don't have uh this lure in your toolbox toolbox tackle box you should this is a great great lure especially fishing in clean water like we're doing right now he's on that's a better feeling fish might not be started off feeling pretty heavy that ain't fighting like a trout though but it is that's why I hooked him outside the mouth oh, little fella missed it y'all look how dark these trout are in here we're fishing in really tea colored tannic water. And uh, man, these are some of the darkest trout I've seen in a while. See you, dude. That's not your husband, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, oh, Rusty. Did, did you have one? Yes. What kind of hook set was that? Mm, he's on. That's the one I missed. <laughs> That's a better one. Oh my goodness. That's a better fish. There we go. Look at that one. <laughs> oh no, no. Oh, my line broke, broke flipping them. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that thick guy. Choke that bug. Oh yeah. I'll get that out of there for you, buddy. Get you back in the water. Another beautiful trout, y'all. Bye bye. If y'all want to know where we're fishing at on this trip, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Link up here and down in the description. I'm going to put out a Google Earth 
overlay of this entire trip, letting y'all know where we launched at, what the conditions were, basically everything about where we're catching these fish. So y'all can come out here to the same exact area and uh, and do the same thing. Got another bite. And uh, but even if y'all don't live here or or whatever. You can still take a lot of that information from our Patreon page and apply it to your waters uh, to help y'all get on fish as well. But yeah, check out our Patreon page. Everything about this trip will be on there. Never would have expected to catch a trout that size. This time. I mean, we're we're deep right now. Like we're getting real, real fresh. <clears throat> he just bit right at the doggone boat. Golly. Don't leave me. <laughs> dude, but dude, there's... <clears throat> Come here. Y'all, we are freaking on them now. I mean, never would have expected them to be stacked this far back here. Bye-bye. He's released. <laughs> that joker wanted to get back in the water. I was looking how you were retrieving it to see if I, maybe I can offer any suggestions. I'm trying to follow like the same cadence and everything you are. I mean, I'm, it's a slow, he's on. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, man. Oh, it's a slower retrieve. That's a good trout. He's tagged too. That's a tagged trout. Come on around here. Let's get your numbers, buddy. See, that lure was sitting all the way on the bottom. Boom. All right, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Has a tag on her, so we're gonna get some measurements, get her submitted. Looking at right at 20 inches. Once she gets the mouth closed, about 19 and a half. Dude, this is an old tag too. AT right now. Bye bye. All right, that was not graceful, but we handled her very little. So she got off good. She's gonna live. We're gonna get those numbers sent in. And the tag that was on that fish had a lot of algae on it, a lot of stuff i couldn't even wipe off of it so it's been there for a while so i would i can't wait to to get the information back from that tag to see you know where it was originally captured at and uh and yeah pretty awesome stuff here so here's the thing about fishing creeks too so you see how narrow this creek is right it's got some pretty good depth to it which is in, in my opinion good characteristics of a creek to to pick and go fish are going to be narrow deep creeks with a lot of bends and a lot of junctions and uh and that's really this creek but uh the thing about it is you're sitting here you're going through your fishing i you know i can start at the mouth of this creek and continue to just push through and i can make three casts and if there's a fish anywhere in front of me he's at least going to get an opportunity to see my lure they might not all bite but I, i'm really putting my lure in front of a lot of fish and i'm able to pick up some fish by doing this you know if you pick like your your wider bigger creeks uh you know you might only be able to fish one bank and you're going down through here you're fishing well the other bank might have had more fish on it this that and the other and it's not as easy to be thorough when you're going down uh, and you're fishing and fishing a, a small creek like this i can fish it from the beginning to the end and feel pretty comfortable that you know most of the fish in that creek got to look at my lure at least once <clears throat> that's a good one that's a good fish that's a good fish that's a good fish come on oh big bass mm. say big look it's a big bass for here <laughs> There's a dog on two pounder. 
<laughs> Catching bass on a doggone trout thumper. This ain't a bass thumper, it's a trout thumper, dude. What were you thinking? Man, I knew he hit it different. I was like, what is going on? That just goes to show y'all how fresh we are right now. Catching a lot of trout right here. And then also picking up some decent bass. See you, dude. Man, it has been a heck of a morning. It's only about 8.30 right now. We launched at about 6 o'clock this morning, so. Been a pretty decent, at least the last hour has been really good. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up right there. Had a pretty decent morning out here. Five or six trout over 19 inches. A couple of them were right there, 20, 21, maybe even a 22 inch or didn't measure all of them, but, and caught that tagged fish and a bass. Excellent morning out here. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all did, hit the like button, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.